allows it. Hang loose. Okay, as you can see, trying to do something different. I don't know if I like this setup. It is a little bit more controlled and I'm trying to follow some improvement advice. Apparently nobody likes my dirty room. <laughs> Keep it simple, dirty room. I'm digesting parts of that and I'm thinking, oh, I misunderstood some of it. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get to this because it's got to be a little bit fast and I bet you the acoustics in this room suck. Today's headline. Details vague on reopening. Just in case what I feel like later on. Oh, don't shuffle the paper. Don't do this. Don't do that. But here we go. Details vague on reopening. I don't know about this because um, what you got here is uh, test and travel. Okay? You get the test. You're, 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 you're negative. I don't know if that's positive or negative. You're negative on the test, so you're positive to go on the flight three days before you get here and you don't have to do the 14 day, it's waiver, the 14 day quarantine. That's what they're hoping to all the tourists will come over. That's what they want. The business is, it's like the mayor on Jaws, you know, you get your businesses back in a working order. Um, and the sharks out in the water too. I'm not joking with that. There's, no, there's less people, so there's more fish, and more fish, the sharks are hungry, so they're eating the fish, they come inside. But don't worry, don't worry about the sharks. October 15th is the date. What are they vague about? It's like, here we go again. What are they vague? Governor David Ige announced last week that Hawaii, okay, yeah, October 15th, fall tours in the Hawaii shut down. Oh, I don't have a pen. Dang it. This is terrible. Those Hawaii residents and leaders who will be questioning the need, workability, usefulness of Ige's plan, which has been pushed back three times. Pushed back three times in the calendar use. End of the rainbow gets farther away. Don't you know it? No. Tony Orlando would I was just a kid, so hey. Uh, reopening 23 days later. Many details, it's only 23 days away. Many of the details of the plan are not yet worked out. It needs a workout. Reopening tourism in the middle of the pandemic is complicated, especially when Hawaii has not completely figured out how to reopen its own local economy without seeing a spike in it. That's so true, though. So, you know, I kind of agree with it. They want, they so desperately want it that when they're forcing it to happen, they're not doing it akamai, smart. They're not going about it right. So the plans, they don't know what to do. You just gotta do it. You know, you gotta plan the best you can and freaking do it. And guarantees there's gonna be spikes after. Maybe not as bad, but today, 77, well that's yesterday. Yesterday I said it was tomorrow's case. It's yesterday's cases. It's a total of seven to seven. Yes. On a three hour tour. 25 miles of Oahu beaches could be lost that he finds. 25 miles of beaches. And that's that coastal green that was that, that the Obama estate. You know, they put the big brick water out of controversy. You know, they put those things out there, those freaking walls and stuff, the break water things and stuff like that. The beach in front is now no longer a beach in front of a natural ocean with its thing. And the coastal currents go across that way. So it kind of builds up over here, erodes over here, it builds up over here, the sand goes out to sea, and you're losing sand. No more sandy beach. 25 miles of it in the next 30 years. So basically, excuse me for turning the page, back in 1953, Rugged back level and cocoa head created a blowhole. Oh, what a blowhole look out in 1950. Oh, now you can't see this. Got the pretty, pretty sunrise coming out. I can't see it. But the sun is coming out. And yay, Emmys. 
Shit's Creek in Succession. I was watching Succession. It's creepy. It was so. It's kind of like Ugh, that's a super rich, creepy thing. Trump Democrats brings for showdown over his seat because God, I bet you if you uh, Gin Ginsburg, not cold in the grave, and they're already fighting over. But you know what? I don't know about that. We're approaching 200,000 deaths in America. Good God. It's ain't like getting like that quarter of a million people thing. Climate shock, I'm doing this carefully so I don't have to. Okay, that's about it. Okay. Now, uh, did I miss something special? I guess not. Oh, yeah, that's right. United Nations turned 75. It's only two years younger than World War II. Because <laughs> it was made after World War II. The statewide COVID-19 metrics improving, officials say. This is not really that measurable, is it? But it's improving. Got to admit, it's getting better. It's getting better all the time. Oh God! One day it goes down to 77. We're improving. Oh, here's good. Police investigate desecration at Waianae Japanese Cemetery. Oh, better hope they're not Shinto, because you know Shinto got all the different kind spirits in everything. It'd be like the spirit of the little glass, the little glass globe spirit. The lamp spirit, the the one thousand places to see before you die puzzle spirit. Everything has a, the clock spirit. <laughs> so someone that's crazy. So what the heck are you doing with the? Oh, when Otto visit her mother's grave on the birthday September thirteenth, she was satisfied to discover her headstone was gone. They took the headstone. 75-year-old wine I was walked around the family crib found a headstone bearing on the ground. Who would do something like that? It's devastating. I'm shocked. See, there's some people get all kind of weird, bent up. The It's like, you know, a person getting tension and they have to vent. And whole society and community is doing that because of this stuff going on. And these people just freak out and stuff happens. Conduct tents and public schools water system. I mean, that sounds good. Test the waters. Ah, what do we have here? The big statistical pie chart question. What do you think of the guidance slash plan for schools to gradually bring back more on-campus learning? Do you want to go back to campus with the thing going on, right? 36%. Right? About right. Reasonable. Under circumstances. That's about, you know. 31%. Too fast. Health metrics. Too risky. They're starting to use the word metrics. Help us. Jesus, have mercy. We just, we don't know what we're doing. 33%. Too slow. In person. Need in person classes quicker. Whoa. Shove that stuff out there. You know why? Because they don't want to. They don't want to babysit their kid. They use the school as a babysitter. That's third, 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 all around. Too fast, too slow. About right. It's kind of like freaking Goldilocks and the three bears there. Now this one's just right. Two men rescued after jumping from spitting caves. That's the one right off Cocoa Head, the tip. There's a cliff. It goes down, I don't know, it's like 60 feet. And if you're daring enough, there's this place where you hit the water and there's open ocean waves. And there's a cave that spits back out. I almost did it. I chickened out. I am not going to do that ever. I was younger, and then I went up to the end. See, the edge of the thing is rounded, so you walk up to the edge. You can't see, so you don't know what is below. It's like, oh, shit. You have to jump in order to look over. <sighs> yeah, they. Um, I saw a little bit. They, they were drunk. They couldn't get, they jumped in and they couldn't climb back up off the rocks, which is common over there. You can drown because the waves 
wear you out. Don't matter how strong you are, the waves gonna wear you out. Then you'll be and what they call non-responsive, could not resuscitate. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Let us to the editor, views and voices, the modern school teacher juggling. Tch, modern. Let's say school teachers in general, except instead of those, they just added those things. They're juggling. They're always juggling. You have like this. Juggling with the rug being pulled out from underneath. My metaphor. I made that up. And I give you all permission to use it if you want. If you don't want to, I don't care. Uh, I bet you the acoustics here is crappy. Mm. Yeah, this is that instant coffee, boy. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here. Useless to give tickets to unfortunate homeless. No proof that Trump called troops losers. There's no proof. Trump should not attack service members. Mm -hmm. America needs to solve its spiritual problem. Mental health system failed Daniel Prude. Who's that? Yeah, who cares? Oh, it's probably one of those. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> Say the name. Yeah. I'm trying to stay away from riots. More details needed on Green, which is our lieutenant governor. What? This is short. Is Lieutenant Josh Green telling the whole truth? Has it nothing but the truth? If he contracted the coronavirus from his security staff, were they wearing their face coverings when they interacted with each other? Either way, they violated either either they violated the face cover ing mandate or the virus is being spread in another way. Ooh, naughty. The virus has a right to know. Um calm the hell down. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get it? I don't know. I need the original. Trump should not attack service members. Yeah, that's just stupid. Trump should not attack service members. You know, never mind. They're just. They look at the military as one big voting block. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Vote for me. Vote for me. Mostly because the military is a giant voting block. Like the. Christian evangelical, which is not all the Christians, voting, vote for me, big chunk of people vote. Political science in the election year. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's we'll move away from that because, just because. Here we go. Useless to give tickets to unfortunate homeless. I am just so angry. I have never written a letter to a newspaper before. <laughs> but these stupid tickets are getting ridiculous. I don't want to rag on police officers. They obviously are just doing their job. But giving tickets to the homeless people who obviously have no money? They get tickets for where they live. They get tickets for using the restroom. They get tickets for being in the parking lot after 10 p.m. Where would you like to go to the bathroom? And I don't know about you, but I can't pick the time I have to go. Continents. <laughs> what are they going to do with them when they can't pay all these tickets? It just makes me so mad. They always, they already feel depressed on how they are living, and then they're going to get tickets just to live like this. Let's let's all make them feel worse about their lives. Kick them while they're down. Come on, come up with a better resolution. They deserve better. Well, lady, like you haven't really seen the homeless. I used to catch the bus a lot, man. You get, you get the homeless right up your nose. Homeless, homeless. Oh, man, I don't trust the homeless one. No way. Like a good 90% of them. No. Like, stay the hell away from me. Hell no, man. The tricksters, man, they'll get right into you. No, I, yeah, it, it, it was horrible. It wasn't just like an incident and walked away. It was like, had to unentangle some of these people from my life. It was like stalker crap. <clears throat> and they poop and piss all over the place. Because there's no bathrooms. They don't want to... Homeless can of worms. Next. Oh, they get tickets. Okay, they shouldn't give them tickets. They should just herd them up 
and put him in a a homeless concentration camp, like tent city, but made done by the state. And he can't get in and can't get out, and I don't know. That's just like a giant homeless shelter. And you don't like to go into the homeless shelter because you can't use drugs and you can't use alcohol. That's not all of them. But then, and once they're outside for a long enough time, they're had their mental health problem. They, they it drives you insane. You're driving crazy out of there. Little, little, little sign. All right, so there we go. There will be poor always, pathetically struggling. Look at the good things you've got. America needs to solve its spiritual problem. The Atlantic magazine has been making history lately with revelations about the president and his activities. But they publish more than anecdotes about misbehavior. One story in the latest issue was about the U.S. response to the pandemic. It makes the observation what we should not yearn to return to normal. Because normal is what got us where we are today. My own observation is that our country does not, doesn't have an economic problem or a health care problem, a social media or even a radical problem at its base. The country has a spiritual problem. I hope that I live long enough to see it all figured out. Maybe 2020 is the year to see the light. Beverly Kai, Kakaako. <laughs> she lives in Kakaako. Kakaako. It's a special place. Just because the name sounds like Kakaako. <laughs> okay, I think that's about it, I guess. Mental health system. Um, barbershops are safe and should be reopened. I don't know. No proof that Trump called him. There's no proof. He wasn't. They can't prove it. Anyways, I think that's it. So, write in the comments, subscribe, like. Write in the comments, tell me what you think of this venue. I personally don't like it. I think it's a little bit like starting to turn into the politically correct BS. Next thing you know, it's just going to be straight up news. I'll just be sitting there reading it to you. And this is what it says. Oh, sorry, were you there? Oh, I didn't mean to read. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Hey, you know, <clears throat> whatever. Sorry. Gotta run Aaron's day, and you know who. The page is back. Um, look in the other video. I gave a full explanation. Ad nauseum. But I also rant on this philosophical thing because I was like buttered about constructive criticism. <laughs> Because I care about the person it arrived from, I took it real serious. But now I'm don't. Now I'm not. Well, I'm taking constructive action, but I'm not. So but her. God. Hey, hang loose. Aloha.